So what was so mesmerizing about looking inside of a colony? It's, it's really looking at all of those interacting activities of, of one, what we call a, a superorganism, uh, moving towards, uh, towards common goals. For me, I've, sometimes I strip away everything I know and I'm just working among the bees. You know, there's the symbiotic relationship between me and nature and the bees. It's peaceful and whatever stress you have, it seems to just fly away with the bees. Just that you can sit there and watch all of these behaviors kind of come together into something a little bit bigger. That was really fascinating for me when I first opened up a colony. I, I was in British Columbia most of my life, uh, really all the way up until my 20s. I spent a lot of time reading. Uh, I loved reading mystery novels. I really loved Sherlock Holmes. And I realized early on that there's kind of a fun bee connection there. Sherlock Holmes retired as a beekeeper. He spent his time, fascinatingly enough, trying to understand this, the social system of bees. Um, why are there workers? Why are there queens? And I always, that kind of always stuck with me. Like, why would the, why would the preeminent detective of, of Victorian England want to retire to be a beekeeper and study that particular question and it kind of I think it stuck with me because it, it's a really good question and he never solved it so you know hopefully down the line maybe maybe I can. My prime interest in honeybees is that collective performance there is the mystery and the opportunities. Well I was born and raised in the small town of Dayton, Indiana. My dad decided to keep bees. Now about the age of nine, you know, I was making, getting comb honey. I was always interested in the science and thinking, wow, it's cool, you know, people make money and a living working with honeybees. Honeybees are an agricultural species. They are used for uh, pollinating our crops. They're, uh, they're actually non-native to North America, something really important to remember when we're discussing honeybees. They were brought over for, uh, as, a, as, a, as a food source. They were brought over to produce honey. Uh, they were also brought over to produce wax. We've been keeping bees for honey and for wax uh, for centuries. Um, almost, yeah, every, every culture in which there is a, a co-occurring Apis mellifera, there's also a, uh, either honey hunting or hun uh, harvesting of, of bee products occurring as well. Most of the time it's just very peaceful and when I'm just me and bees and also you're in tune with nature in a way that most people aren't.